So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Janice, welcome. So I'm just about to show you how to make a drink called okra punch. Okra full of a lot of nourishment. It's full of a lot of, um, it's got vitamin C, it's got vitamin K, and it's good for supporting it's healthy for the immune function and it's a very good drink it have lots of nutrients in it but if you want to know more about okra check out google look upon google and i will show you the ingredients you will be needing. these are all the ingredients you'll be needing uh cement you'll be needing bay leaf You'll be needing um, evaporated milk. You'll be needing nutmeg. You'll be needing a bag of okra. You will be needing condensed milk. And you will be needing almond extra or vanilla extra. Whatever you got. But vanilla extra is best, but I haven't got any at the moment. The last time I ran out. So I forgot to get some today. So this is all the stuff you will be needing for your okra punch. You also can put a bit of rum or brandy in it, but I'm doing mine without, okay? I chopped the head off the okra and I threw them away. The head, you chop the head off the okra and what I'm going to do is chop the okra up in small pieces. I put a medium size saucepan on with half of it of water. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna put a cinnamon stick in to boil in the water so I put a cinnamon stick in to boil and also one bay leaf so also one bay leaf so you let that boil so a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf and you let that boil come to the boil and you throw your okra, I cut up the okra and I chop the top of it off and the tail and I chop them up in small pieces. So I'm just about to put them in the pan to boil. So you let them boil for about, I would say 20 to 25 minutes, let it boil. So you load the cooker down and let your okra boil for about 15, 20 minutes, let it boil soft. And this is how it look, you could see the okra in there because when it's finished, you're gonna drain this off. And you also could do a lot of things with okra. You could also, so you bring it down, I have it on electric and it's on um, tree. So you could do a lot of things with okra. You could also boil the okra with the rice. You boil the okra first make it come soft and then put in the rice after and mix the rice in with the okra and let it all cook down together. You could also make okra soup. I like okra in fish broth, like a f like fish soup. I love okra in that. It's really nice. My grandmother used to make that. It used to be delicious. So I'm just waiting for it to boil. And then after it's finished boiling, I will drain it off, I will strain it, and I, I will wait for it to cool down, and then strain it, and then make my, add all the other ingredients to it. Around 15 minutes now, so I'm going to take the okra and put it to one side, take it off now, let it cool down. The okra is finished cooling down. If you think too much of the water is dry out when you was boiling it, you could always add some hot water from the kettle to it. But 
when you when it's cooled down you strain it into a bowl so I'm just gonna strain it now strain it through so you strain the okra through just like that So you strain it all through until you finish. I need to buy myself a bigger strainer. So you strain the okra all through. Strain it through. So once you finish straining this, you will add your ingredients. So I'm just gonna strain all this through now. And this is how it looking so far. It's nice and thick. Finish straining everything in the bowl. This is what you're left with. As I said, you could add hot water to it if you want more. And then now, I'm gonna add a small evaporated milk. This is 170 grams. So I'm gonna put all of that in there. Remember I said you could add brandy or or rum to it because it meant to be a punch but i'm just having mine like that so i add my whole thing of evaporated milk the small one now i'm gonna add about maybe two big tablespoonful of condensed milk but mix it to your taste mix it to how you like it don't worry if just mix it to how you want it okay mix it to how you want it so you mix that and then you'll put your vanilla extract or your almond extract in i will say about a teaspoonful or say about almost a teaspoonful and then you grate your nutmeg in also we grate a dash of nutmeg in. You could um, do it to your taste. Do your punch to your taste. If you want more sugar, you try it. If, I mean, if it want more kindness milk, you can put more kindness milk, not sugar. And also, um, you can just use kindness milk if you don't want to use the evaporated milk. You mix it only. You can make it only with the condensed milk if you want to remove the evaporated milk. So this is the punch. And as I said, you can add a rum or whatever in it. I still did manage to get a little bit of my okra in it. I didn't strain it that very well. But it's a very slimy, you can see how slimy it is. And it tastes delicious. And you could just have this with ice. And it's nice to drink, it's a lovely drink. So Chase guys, this is the okra drink finish. If you don't want to make it too thick, you could put less okra. Because mine is fairly thick. And as I said, you could add it the sweetness to your taste. So if you want to put more condensed milk, you can put more condensed milk in it. But I'm happy with the taste I got now. I don't want it too sweet. So this is all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe or leave thumbs up or comment in the box below. And I will be with you very soon. And also, I said I was going to do a painting. I still haven't done it. So I have to do a painting with a basket very soon. God bless. See you all soon. Cheers.